I, I definitely did grow up uh, fascinated by American culture. I'm a, I'm a bit of a, a marabou, like a, like a weeb for America. America deserved 9-11, dude. I'm saying it. The criticism that was thrown in my, uh, in my face uh, has been consistent throughout my career. You disgusting, vile piece of garbage. I'm an idiot. I'm a dumb uh, bimbo. I don't know what I'm talking about. Like when your mom pays me because I fucking blow her back walls out, dude. I've gotten numb to the criticism. It's, I, as a matter of fact, I seek it out now because I make content out of it. I'm going to die one of these days because my blood pressure fucking spiked. I think it's funny. Everything I said about Biden is true, you fucking idiot. His real name is Hassan Packer. Hassan Packer is the largest political commentator on the internet. However, his political ideology is nothing but being a socialist grifter in an attempt to become more and more popular, and he's willing to say and do pretty much whatever it takes in order to add more and more zeros to his bank account. Is I'm a consumer of socialism? No, I'm a capitalist, bro. I love capitalism, dude. It's my, it's my favorite thing. It's like a kink, really. So today, I'm about to end this man's whole career. Dude, this is like unimaginable wealth, dude. How the fuck can people make this much money? If we take a look at Hassan's first attempt at content creation, the real and authentic Hassan, as I like to put it, he wasn't anything like the pseudo-socialist he sits in his room and acts like today. In fact, he was a lot closer to Andrew Tate than he would ever like to admit. Now, once you're in a more intimate one-on-one -on -one situation, it's much easier to get things moving forward. If you hadn't played the finger fun already in the club, now is the time to utilize those magic fingers. Take her back to your house, show off that impressive vinyl collection that no one else gives a shit about, and go into town. And that concludes our bro tip of the week. Well, geez, Hassan, I mean, I appreciate the effort, but I don't think anyone on this planet ever got laid as a result of this bro tip of the week. And look, those clips are from 2014. I'm not saying people don't change, nor is anyone not allowed to change. And content creation is difficult, especially when you're starting out. So I'm not going to sit here and roast the guy for some of the first content he ever put out into the world. Although, I'm sure he would do exactly that in response. But Hassan was a completely different person back then compared to who he pretends to be today. And that is not a coincidence. The fact of the matter is, people typically don't do a complete 180 on who they are between the ages of 22 and 31, where you go from some bro tips frat boy Steven Crowder wannabe to a far left pseudo socialist without some sort of ulterior motive. And that ulterior motive is to make as much money as humanly possible while putting in the least amount of effort while exploiting and manipulating as many people as possible in the least amount of time. If you expect me to think that that person is charitable at this point, I don't know what to tell you. You no longer left this reform capitalism? What? When have I ever strayed away from social democracy in the short term, socialism in the long term? Like, it's literally always been what I've advocated for. Hassan bases his entire internet personality around pretending to be a socialist while simultaneously feeding off of donations and begging for subscriptions from those who make far less money than he does while living in a $3 million mansion in LA just to criticize others who live in $3 million mansions. Dude, this is like unimaginable wealth dude how the fuck do people make this much money 2.9 million dollars near las vegas dude oh my fucking lord dude what what the fuck and driving a 2022 porsche instead of you know giving back to those who might actually need it just look at how nervous the grifter gets when even just the concept of charity is brought up. This is a reminder, you don't have to wait for your favorite orgs to donate to charity. Go ahead and find your own favorite charity, such as, uh, what's one of your favorites, Hassan? I like Gamers Outreach. Uh, <laughs> Son spent all that money on a house, so he's not been giving to charity recently, which is why I can't think of any. He keeps making uh, contracts. He can sit on Twitter and say he donated once or twice, but if a significant portion of his excessive amount of income is not going towards helping those who have been allegedly ruined by the system that he claims to hate so much, he is actively doing the exact opposite as to what he pretends to stand for. 
But socialism does not equal charity. Don't get it confused. But it also does not mean being as greedy as humanly possible. Guys, if you want to support this event, this costs a shit ton of money, but it, it can all be paid back uh, just by getting merch. Shitcamp.gg. There's no sponsor or anything. Am I going to be reimbursed for the firearms <laughs> stream? Uh, yeah. Riding around in private jets, wearing $1,100 shirts one day, and wearing a shirt the next day that says, Eat the Rich. That is performative activism. This is what political streamers do on the left. Okay? The only political activism they will do is activism that benefits themselves. That's it. So yeah, there is activism they will do, but it's only when it directly serves their financial interests, like the good little capitalist fucking cucks they are. Because nobody's more capitalist than a motherfucker wearing a socialist label. Okay? They are the most capitalist motherfuckers on the platform. A political ideology is worthless if almost all of your actions are the opposite of which you promote. And Hassan works for Jeff Bezos, by the way. One of, if not the greatest capitalist to ever touch Earth. Here is the definition of champagne socialist. In what world is that not Hassan? Even if you're this guy's biggest fan, I think we can all admit he preaches socialist ideals while living a luxurious capitalist lifestyle. And the socialist grifters fans will say things like, oh, but socialists could have nice things too. I'm sure they can. I've never personally been deluded enough to think that socialism is a good idea, but does a socialist really need the nicest possible things? I sold homes for more than three years full time. I've been in well over a thousand houses, and I can confidently say, unless you have like five kids or something, nobody needs a 4,000 square foot home. Finally moved into the new house, the seven gorillion dollar, yeah, seven gorillion dollar uh, house. I sold cars for a year, and I can confidently say nobody needs a $200,000 Porsche Taycan. You can get one of the nicest cars on earth for half of that. The only possible defense for Hassan's inability to actually practice what he preaches is to strawman the argument into- Unironically uh, advocate for the reactionary point of view that like you are not supposed to have a single fucking uh, thing to yourself. Socialism is when no fucking uh, toothbrush and the less toothbrush you have, the more socialist you are. No, nobody's saying you can't be a socialist and not have a house or a toothbrush like Hassan likes to put it. What people are saying is that there is a huge difference between being a greedy capitalist pig and preaching socialism only because it benefits your bank account like Hassan and living modestly like Bernie Sanders and actively trying to actually implement socialism into the US government. Nobody on this planet ever talked about Ben Shapiro's $3 million LA mansion because he's a capitalist who did capitalist things to obtain that wealth. There is zero hypocrisy there. A perfect example, look at this clip of Hassan crying about how bad IRL streaming is because he makes less money doing it. IRL streams are so much fun, but like they're just not as good as like regular streams. Like you, you can't fucking run the ads like. That is blasphemy. That is blasphemy, okay? Blasphemy! You can't fucking run the ads. People need to go to hell for saying that nonsense. If you're broke, I totally get saying these types of things. But once you're already a millionaire, who cares that you're making slightly less money doing a job that's 10 times more enjoyable than the average person's job? And look, Hassan is massively successful. There's no denying that. But what good is success if it's all built on a bunch of lies stacked on top of more lies? Hassan has to wake up every single day and pretend to be a socialist while also doing the most capitalistic things he could possibly do for every second of the day in an attempt to attain more and more wealth like the greedy douchebag that he truly is. Hassan has literally manipulated real socialists into making him a millionaire. That is the definition of grifting. Hassan is nothing more than the liberal version of Dave Rubin who just happens to be a lot better at his job than Dave is. And Hassan's grifting has gotten so bad to the point where he can no longer even participate in political debates anymore with anyone aside from like DJ academics Bruh. because he knows that if he debates anyone with half a brain, his hypocrisy would be exposed in 4K. If you genuinely believe Hassan is a socialist, not based on the things he says, but based on the things he does, either you are trolling or you're so delusional to the point where you just cannot admit the truth. Hassan is a champagne socialist because actions prove who someone truly is. Words just prove who they pretend to be. The Kardashians are lying to you. What a fucking liar, dude. What a fucking weasley little 
liar. Like China is not a communist state. I wouldn't even consider them to be, I wouldn't even consider China to be socialist, but Bruh. they consider themselves, I guess, in a transitional socialist state. As if being a champagne socialist wasn't bad enough, Hassan is also a far left extremist, going so far as to start an entire podcast named Agit Prop, which literally means political propaganda. Now just to set something straight, I think there's nothing wrong with someone being a liberal, nothing wrong with someone being a conservative. Everyone is more than welcome to have their own political beliefs. I have friends who are liberals and friends who are conservatives, and we get along just fine. An extreme like Hassan would consider this fence sitting, but I consider that being a normal human with empathy. But that's what happens when you're an extremist like Lasan Abi. Hassan is just as extreme as Nick Fuentes, who I've criticized heavily on this channel. When you're as extreme as Hassan is in his political views, that is when you officially become a nut job that goes so far as to claim that CNN is right wing, or saying that he would highly suggest against ever calling the police. And I call the cops. Let's say that the cops show up, they arrest these two people for loitering or being threatening or whatever, um, and then they find out that they're illegal immigrants and they refer them to ICE and they get deported. Am I, as a homeowner, like the person that like reported them, am I now complicit in, in like deporting illegal immigrants? Is that on me? Do I have that liability? Yes. Bruh. Okay. So should people just never ever call the cops ever then? Um, yeah, I highly, I, I suggest against that, yes. Okay. Hassan claims that his movement is good because he converts many people to the left. I disagree completely. In my opinion, extremists are not converters. They are typically just grifters like Hassan being as partisan as humanly possible in order to avoid backlash from their fans who already agreed with most of the things that their favorite political commentators pretend to stand for before they even found their content. But when Hassan gets mad, his real thoughts get exposed. You are just a trans person. Sorry. Well, would you look at that? The far left extremist, when angry, is actually weaponizing the fact that somebody else is transgender in an attempt to personally attack someone that he disagrees with. You cat boy fuck. What a great guy. And isn't being transphobic just a little bit hypocritical coming from Hassan of all people? Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. I can't make this up, guys. I would never do or say such a thing, but then again, I prefer to think before I speak rather than the same guy who said that America deserved 9-11. America deserved 9-11, dude. Oh no, actually it's fine because he said in a video game right after. In a video and game. And, and, and enhancing their capability. But look, we all make mistakes, we all slip up, and it must be hard live streaming. But surprisingly, I've never slipped up so badly where I said thousands of people deserve to die and hundreds of thousands of families deserve to be ruined as a result of terrorism. But to then go on his daddy Cenk Uger's show the next day and double down on saying that America deserved 9-11 is literally insane. No, I didn't say Americans deserve 9-11. I said America deserves 9-11. Right, like, but that's and still that wrong. Moment, well, maybe you can chalk it up to English being my second language or whatever you want to chalk it up to. I speak a second language. In 22 years on this earth, I've never once said that the people from my country deserve to have terrorism and mass deaths inflicted onto them due to the actions of the government, which those individuals have absolutely no control over. And then, to later go on to brag about this moment, years later, by saying, She's never gonna have an America deserve 9-11 moment, you know what I mean? Is nothing short of expected from the socialist grifter, who has genuinely convinced themselves that they need to pretend to hate the country that is the only reason why they are successful, in order to make more and more money. In my opinion, Hassan is by far the worst human being I've ever covered on this channel, and it's not even even close. The guy makes Aiden Ross look like an angel in comparison, to be honest, and that's not because he promotes gambling or crypto scams or OnlyFans girls to his audience consisting of mostly children, it's because he's by far the most disingenuous content creator I've ever considered even speaking about. His words simply do not equate to his actions. Anyone with an objective point of view on this subject would admit that. And if you're interested in leftist political commentary, in my opinion, someone like Destiny is far more insightful, well-spoken, and actually willing to have their ideas challenged in a public setting. With that being said, I'll let Hassan do the outro. Leave your comments and ideas and opinions that I really truly care about in the section below. 
And if you don't, I'm going to come to your house and I'm going to have sex with your dog. <laughs>